In this lesson, we'll learn about adding and subtracting integers. Integers are defined as the set of positive whole numbers and their opposites, which are negative numbers and zero. So we have those positive whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and it goes on from there. We have zero, and we have the opposite of those whole numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so forth. So those are integers. We're familiar with three plus five. Three plus five is eight. Eight plus nine is 14. So when we are adding a plus five here, we're adding a positive number to a positive number. Now, it just looks like our number's getting larger, getting bigger. Now, when we do the same thing, what we add it to a negative number, negative 8 plus 3, for instance, it's also going to end up getting larger or end up getting bigger. And one way to look at this is to take a look at a number line. If we had started at negative 8 here, and we go up 3 from there, 1, 2, and 3, we would end up at negative 5. We would end up negative 5. Just as when we were going from 3 to 8, we went plus 5, meaning we would go towards the right 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if we're adding a positive number to a negative number, we're, we move to the right on a number line, or we count up. Up from negative 8 is negative 7, negative 6, then negative 5. Negative 7, negative 6, and then negative 5. We count up from there. What's negative 9 plus 4 then? Again, counting up. Might want to use your fingers. Next number from negative 9 would be negative 8, then negative 7, negative 6, and then negative 5. You could write that out as well if you needed to. Negative 9 do not count that. That is a very common mistake. So you get negative 8, that's 1 away, negative 7, negative 6, and negative 5. Very common mistake is to state that negative 9 plus 4 is negative 13. That would not be the case. We're adding 4. In this case, we made this number larger. Negative 5 is bigger than negative 9. Here's a u-try. Go ahead and figure out negative 5 plus 3, and then also figure out negative 11 plus 6. Copy those down, hit pause. Did you write down negative 2 as your solution there, and negative 5 as your solution there? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, we'll continue to work with this. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 5. Negative 4. Negative 3. And negative 2. To the right, 4 places there. I'm sorry, to the right, 3 places. 1, 2, and 3. Now, in some instances, you have negative 7 plus 12. You'll notice here, negative 7 plus 12 this number here, the 12, is bigger than 7 here. So we know that the inverse of negative 7, for instance, is 7. So negative 7 plus 7 would be 0. That's an inverse. Just, And then so in this case, negative 7 plus 12 is just regular negative 7 plus 7 plus 5. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0, plus 5, which equals 5 then. It's one way to simplify that to be able to solve it there, to be able to think about that there. If we added this bigger number, this 12, to the negative 7 there, what this does is that we're going to end up with that positive number, as opposed to our previous examples, where we all ended up with negative numbers because we were working with a smaller number um, that we were adding there to that negative. Here we have negative 6 plus 8 using that same approach. The inverse of negative 6 or the opposite of negative 6 would be 6. So we have 8 expressed as 6 plus what? 
8 breaks down into 6 plus what? 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8, right? Negative 6 plus 6 is just 0. 0 plus 2, which evaluates to 2. Negative 6 plus 8 is 2. You could still use that same approach where you're counting up from negative 6. You count up from negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 away. 8 more than negative 6. So in these two instances, we have negative 5 plus 7. We know that 7 can be expressed as what plus what. And then so we're looking for the inverse of negative 5. Inverse of negative 5 or the opposite of negative 5 is 5. Negative 5 plus 5 plus 2 in this case here then. Negative 5 plus 5 cancels each other out. 0 there. 0 plus 2 is just 2. We'll use the other approach for negative 3 plus 9. So we count up from negative 3. Counting up from negative 3, you go negative 2. Hopefully you did not say negative 4. Negative 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'll count that up for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm, I think I counted wrong there. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, it's a line from 3 to 4. That's 7, 8, and 9. That's why the answer is 6. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. We have two problems for you to try. Copy down the problem. Use an approach to go ahead and solve them. You might want to just draw a number line. That might be able to help you. Go ahead and hit pause. All right, for that first one there, we have negative 4 plus 10. Here's negative 4. 10 away, plus 10, move to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that would be 5, and then 6 there. Negative 4 plus 10 is 6. I'll use a different color for that second problem just to show you on the number line. Negative 3 plus 7, here's negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 away. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Using our other approach that we had used before, negative 3 plus 3 plus 4. That 7 broken down into 3 plus 4. Negative 3 plus 3 cancels each other out. We have 4. Using those inverses. All right, let's take a look at subtracting. We have 3 minus 6, and what we end up with is negative 3. Here's our reasoning why. I have my number line again. I'll start at 3, and I'm going to go ahead and for negative 6 or minus 6, I'm going to go ahead and move left from where it is that I start now, because I'm subtracting 1, 2, 3. Up. Oh, Looks like I'm going to get a negative number. And that's why it's negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Again, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Starting at 4, we go down from there. We go down 9 to the left 9, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. I'll count them out for you. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 9 away. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Technically this is a number line. If I wanted to draw it that way. Just write that in there. And you'll notice that that extends out in either direction as well. We have 3 minus 6, 
starting at 3. You can think about this here. This is 3 minus 3 minus 3. So if I, for instance, went 3 to the left there, right? So I started at 3. I went to the left 3 at that point. I would end up being at 0. And so that's why I expressed the subtraction of the minus 6 as then I started going minus 3 first, and then went minus 3 again to get to minus 3. So again, same sort of approach. I'll use a similar type problem so you can just kind of see that. 2 minus 3. So I'll start by getting to 0 first. 2 minus 2, and then I still have to go ahead. I moved 2, I was supposed to move 3 to the left, I only moved 2 so far, so I still have to move 1 more to the left. That's why that's minus 1 there. 2, 1, 2, and 3, minus 1. Again, more than one approach to show as to why it is that it holds true. Now, in some instances, you won't cross zero. So, for instance, our normal type problem, where, for instance, you had 9 minus 2, that's obviously 7. And in some instances, you might be subtracting from a negative number. Still the same approach. Let's take a look on the next screen. Here we have negative 3 minus 2. So we start at negative 3. Do we move right or left? Left. We move left to more. The numbers become, become more negative in this case then. 1, 2, negative 5. Now, subtracting a number is the same as adding a negative. So negative 3 minus 2 could be expressed as negative 3 plus negative 2, which is just negative 5. This kind of makes sense in that if we are adding two negatives together and two negative numbers together, it makes sense that our numbers should become even more negative and more negative. You'll notice that this is a 3 here plus the 2, negative 5. Add the negative sign, and again, so the 9 plus the 3 is 12. So really, negative 9 minus 3, in that case, if we just expressed it in that manner there above, where we kind of going to get even more negative, negative 12, negative, let's see, 2 minus um, 7 could be expressed as 2 plus negative 7, and in this case, it's the same way, this will be negative 5. Use that strategy and approach that works for you. Here's two for you to try, 3 minus 7, negative 2, minus 9. Go ahead and hit pause. Again, as you're learning this, it might help to go ahead and draw number lines to really think about this. You also might use this approach here. Inverse of 3, we subtract 3. 3 minus 3, and then we would still have to subtract 4 as well. That's why it's negative 4. Use the other approach here, negative 2 minus 9. Starting at negative 2, I go down 9, negative 3, or to the left 9, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, and negative 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's negative 11. becomes more negative. That number, what we started from negative 2, becomes even more negative. That's why we have negative 11 there. Here I have two last problems for you to go ahead and review. When we're adding, so we'll start at a negative 7 here. When we're adding, we're going to move in what direction on the number line? To the right. In other words, our number is going to be um, larger. Larger than negative 7. That means we count up from negative 7. Next number up from negative 7 is negative 6. Then it goes negative 5. 
2 away. Negative 5 is your answer there. Now when we're subtracting, we have negative 6. There's another way to express this as an addition problem. Negative 2 plus negative 6. And so um, we're adding two of those integers together. And it just so happens that those are negative integers. Negative 2 plus negative 6, then, it becomes even more negative. And that's why we take 2, 6, we add those together to get 8, and we make sure to put a negative sign there. Using that number line for negative 2 minus 6, just to show that to you one more time, here's 0, here's negative 2 already, and minus 6, again, we're going to the left, or we add a negative, we're going to the left negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and negative 8. Counting those off to show, show you then, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Remember we are going 6 away there. So that's adding and subtracting integers.